everybody watching this. Uh, good morning. We are continuing where we left off yesterday. Um, or, I guess, you wouldn't have seen this yet because I uh, haven't released it yet, but I made a YouTube video and um, we started uh, working on our automation tech card here. And today we're going to continue. My hope is that eventually uh, today we'll be able to get into um, a little bit of actual automation, maybe even get to some electricity, we'll see. But it's just going to be setting up um, some basic stuff around our uh, little area here. So um, let's uh, get into it. We are uh, still waiting for this, but in the meantime I think we can start trying to figure out exactly what path we're going to take. There's so many things that I need to do here, but so this is the first automation here. That's a hundred tech cards. Jeez, that's a, quite a lot. Okay, so we need to do some kind of automation here. This is getting into electricity down here. Um, so I think this is probably the path we'll end up taking. So fuel processing and then electricity. And then from there we can get into automation, electric mining, fluid handling, and then we can finally get the steam engines. Jeez, okay. But it looks like it gets cheaper-ish. Kind of. So I think that for the time being we are going to set up some of these burner assemblers and we're also going to um, Try and get some more of these going. So let's see, this is going to make this, this is going to make this, and I guess we'll do a burner inserter between them. I don't know, not great honestly. <laughs> Um, all right, and then we need one of these. Okay. Oh, we had a bunch of extra. Okay. Okay, cool. And then I don't know if the uh, burner inserter will grab from... Oh, it does. Nice. That's kind of cool. Also, these graphics are amazing. I think that these are updated. Um, I haven't seen these before, but this is pretty freaking awesome for these burner uh, assemblers, which... Holy moly, are they slow. <laughs> Point... Okay, 0.5. Okay, I mean... I think it's the same as these, right? 0.5. Yeah, 0.5. Um, all right, so we got that research done. We need to do logistics because we're going to need some inserters and splitters and things. We also, we also need to do fuel processing. Let's do fuel processing. And we actually can't use this anymore, which... I guess we actually used the exact amount, which was unintentional, but works out well. Okay. So I think we're gonna set up. Another one of these. Because I do not feel like Bricks. 
All right, cool. Uh, what do we need to do this? Blank tech cards, which is copper cable and iron plate. And so we're gonna try and make some blank tech cards here. Put some iron plate in there. Fuel processing is done. So we need to make 50 of these for... iron gears and copper cheese <laughs> there's always so many intermediates okay so we'll just we'll just do this okay we won't do that let's go grab some wood settings there. Okay, and I mined one tree. What am I doing? Alright. So we got 30 of those, so we're doing fine on that, but we need to make some So many dang intermediates. Okay, let's let's uh, craft some iron sticks here. Okay. All right, and we're gonna start another one of these. Okay. Looks like we have enough of these. Now the question is, is can we just get enough? Okay. And we need, again, automation cores, sticks, gears. Making some gears there. Okay, and then this is going to be automation cores, and eventually these will start. And I guess we'll throw these into a box as well. Oh wait, no, we don't want to do that actually. We want to do this. We want to make these, in which case we'll throw our blank tech cards in there. Okay. So we've got, I mean, it's not automation exactly, but it's 
kind of automation. So we'll make... So for it takes five blank tech cards. Okay, so we do need a little bit more copper in here. Okay. Alright, so we'll throw this copper in here to make more coils. Honestly, these graphics really are super beautiful. I I love it. Alright, and then as soon as Okay, so this takes 50 of them. And these take 100, 100, 10. Okay. So we're going to need a bunch. That's for sure. We're going to need more sticks. We're going to need more iron. Probably... Probably should do this. Make some more of these. To throw here. Keep this going. Another one. And let's make one more over here. I suppose I really should be doing this. To automate it more and be lazy, because that's the point of Factorio. Get logistics after electricity to get inserters. Uh, yes. Definitely. That'll be the next goal. So we'll get the electricity first with the electric mining, automation, and we got to get steam engines as well. And then after that, we'll get logistics so we have all of our underground splitters, etc. I think that we are given one tech at the beginning, which is just basic belts. So... Thanks for uh, joining the stream, Reganthian. Um, all right, let's see. I'll just throw these in here. And all right, there we go. We'll get that research at least started. This is super slow, but that's okay. And then we should start thinking about um, what we're going to do once we do actually unlock. You don't need steam engines to make electricity. There's a burner thing. Oh, this thing. Uh huh. Nine megawatts. Okay. Well, I haven't used that one before. Um, is that one new uh, with Crestorio um, or space exploration? Probably space exploration, it looks like, from AI Industries. Alright. No, I think you're right. This does look like it uh, produces uh, 9 megawatts with um, probably this processed fuel. Um, oh wait, it's made in a fuel processor, I'm confused. Process any chemical fuels into process fuels. Oh, this consumes nine megawatts. I don't know, I haven't used it before. Fuel processor makes fuel, yeah, it does look that way. And then I'm not sure what produces the electricity after that. There's nothing else here. So I think that we're gonna try and make a bunch of stone furnaces and um, we're gonna end up probably going up, I think, because all of our resources can kind of fuel in this way. The burner turbine engine uh, generator is the initial electricity thing. Okay. Oh, you mean here, yeah, yeah, got it. I forgot that we'd get tech with finishing this research. Makes sense. Gonna get a bunch of wood, so we're set for a bit. 
on the basic tech cards. Eventually we'll be able to automate that, but I think that's not for a while still. Alright, so I definitely want to plan this out a little bit. I don't really have any idea what's exactly around here. I only glanced at the um, initial generation, so it's all going to be a surprise. Unfortunately, this is super slow running up here. Hmm, maybe we'll go left. You also upgrade burner stuff to electric. Oh, are these ingredients? I, I always forget. They changed how things were made. Oh, yeah. Okay, so that you do upgrade. So that's actually a, a good point, is that we should upgrade that pretty much as soon as possible and just add a bunch more because eventually we'll be able to use them uh, to build into our uh, electric miners, which over the years, um, the space exploration has changed things so much that I just have forgotten all of the uh, all of the changes that they made, and this is that's part of the reason that I started again is because I want to, you know, rediscover all of the the different things that they uh, did without having to fix my existing base, uh, which was just in shambles after the latest update. All right, so we're probably gonna come down here and just do like normal smelting column thing here and I mean with those inserters yeah they do take burner insert so everything everything can get get upgraded so I don't have to feel bad about making it now either which I always did with the regular game you know I always feel bad um, making it a ton of burner inserters and stuff like that because you never get to use them again Okay. All right, so I think that'll actually get us to all the way to um, the end of electricity, and then we can go from there. Alright, so my hope is just to do like a very small smelting column, especially at first, like because it takes like 20 iron for 15 plate, the ratios just are not great. And we don't need a whole lot to begin with anyways. Um, yeah, the, uh, well, yeah, the Informatron is pretty cool. Uh, I don't think it, I'm pretty sure it doesn't say anything about any of that though. Like, it just gives you basic stuff and nothing crazy. And obviously all this stuff we'll get into in a while. Um, but yeah, I, w I do wish that that was a bit more clear because it's that's one of the things that's different from the base game that is really nice. Yeah, I think part of the reason uh, for that, that it tells you about end game stuff and not early game, is that the end game stuff is, and we'll just um, pretend that we have splitters there. Uh, the reason it tells you about the end game stuff and not the beginning game stuff is that the end game stuff is the space exploration stuff, which is really what it's there for. And the early game stuff is, in this case, all Crestorio, which is, um, you know, I, I thought there was um, Informatron stuff for Crystoria, but I guess not. Okay. 
All right, so this will just be a, a basic smelting column, and then we can copy paste this for. Um, this, will, this will be for, and there we go. There's the electricity done. And yeah, you're right. We should grab this next, the logistics, so we can get splitters and stuff like that going. Oh, is it? Okay. That, I mean, that makes sense. But AI Industries, I believe, is part of. Oh, one sec. Hold on. So yeah, AI Industries, I believe, is part of Crestorio 2, um, and that's, uh, you know, that's part of the, the Crestorio mod, as far as I remember, at least. I could be wrong about that. But, okay, so what are we out of over here? Gears? Okay, let's just throw a huge stack of iron in there, and then we'll also throw stack of iron in here to get that working again and um, we can try and get these logistics going um, okay so these burner turbine generators oh man these things <laughs> everything smelters out attaching them to your mining patches Oh yeah, that's true. I should, you are correct. Yeah, with all the um, enriching and things like that, maybe I will. Crystorio screwed up my stack sizes. You're saying that um, the stack sizes should be higher than 200? I didn't realize that. Um, oh, smaller. You're saying that the space exploration expects them to be smaller than 200? I thought... Um, now, I could be wrong about this, but I thought that... Um, Crestoria wanted them, or I mean, Space Exploration wanted them to be higher so you could fit more things in your rockets, because it's a pain in the rear to fill rockets when your stack sizes are super small, and they just fill up so quickly. Well, uh, I'll see if I can fix that. I'm not sure if I can fix it after starting the game. Um, might be able to do that with uh, mod settings. Okay. Anyways. Um, maybe I should move these further this way. I'm not sure. Because uh, eventually, you know, we can... What I've done in the past is like done this and then thrown like enriching over here or something, but that does get really messy really fast. The reason your settings are screwed up is because you upgraded from 0.5 to 0.6. Uh, yeah, that's probably the case. Am I able to change setting mod settings? Uh, let's see. Aha, increase stack sizes. So we don't want to increase the stack sizes, right? Yeah. 
So now if I like throw this coal in here or whatever and take it out again. Hmm. Oh, that's on startup, shoot. Set startup settings cannot be changed while a game is running. So, hmm. I'm not sure if I can change this then. I'll, I'll have to look into it at some point so that uh, the game can be balanced as expected. But um, I will do that. Got to save, exit, and then change it. Yeah, okay, yeah. I'll, I'll do that later then. No need to. I'll figure that out on my own time. But Okay, so you know what? I'm just going to leave this here for now. Um, in the future, we'll probably be able to uh, move it pretty easily. I don't know. I'm super indecisive when coming to builds because I like things to be like really symmetrical and perfect. And we're also going to run to this core seam here, which is really unfortunate. So maybe we'll go up. Okay, yeah, I'll do it later then and uh, get that fixed. Because I definitely do want it to be balanced as expected. Um, you know, I'm not trying to break the the mod here. Okay, so let's throw these in. Thanks for pointing that out. I didn't even know that that was a thing. I didn't look too closely at the mod settings when I started. Okay, let's start crafting a ton of crap. Oh, you know another thing that I wish that the base game had was small iron electric poles? I know it's like a small gripe, but I hate having to like get a ton of wood early game to make all of them. And sometimes it's just easier to have, especially like on a desert map where there's barely any wood and you want to use the wood for other things. Bunch of these as well, and more of these, and a bunch of inserters. All right, so we're we're going a little slow here. I am learning still some things. Uh, it's been a while since I've done this stage of the game. I'm used to having robots and all that stuff. So, okay, there's logistics. Um, I guess. Not sure if electric mining is the best thing. It might be. I mean, mining speed is 0. 0.5, and mining speed on these is 0. 0.25. You've gotten to space and still use wooden poles, yeah. <laughs> Well, uh, I think we'll do, let's see, Crusher. This might be good, actually. This will help us speed up a little bit. We still have a bunch of... Electric mine is double speed and don't need to read. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Yep, so we'll get electric miners. And my goal today uh, is basically just to get a small little production area going with um, automation cores so we can make all of the necessities um, like miners and stuff like that. It is a little bit of a hefty goal and I have to start working like an hour or so. We'll see. One Crusher next helps you automate wood. How does the Crusher help me automate wood? Oh, it's probably in the tech tree you mean. Stone processing, and then we can get the greenhouse. Yes, you are correct. We'll, we'll get that eventually. I My main goal actually is, uh, right now, <clears throat> is to get uh, inserters and burner inserters and stuff made. And that um, 
we will be able to do um, without wood. So we'll do the research part after that, which will require us to do um, to create wood. Yeah, crusher makes sand, sand makes glass, etc. Yes. And I really should be handcrafting the whole time I'm doing this. Okay, so. All right, there we go. Um, we'll get that going here in a minute. And probably should get electric. I mean, what am I doing? <laughs> oh, whoops, I queued it. Okay. Probably should get electric mining. What am I missing here? What are these? Yeah, no, I know basic research uses wood, um, but I want to get all the other things automated first, and then we'll automate basic research. Um, I think that'll make things easier for just like getting things set up and um, progressing some. Okay, let's throw another stack of copper in there. I didn't realize uh, that basic research like ended after a while the first time I was playing through space exploration and I was like oh my gosh I'm so happy that basic research is gone I don't have to worry about making wood and then it turns out you have to make wood for other things like uh, steel I think it was for um, making coke I think for steel okay so we'll make some fuel processors actually how does this work? I, I haven't used these fuel processors, so let's let's look at this. And we'll make a bunch of these. I know I said I didn't like wooden poles, and then I go and make a bunch of wooden poles. Yeah, I know, it's super weird. I think that, uh, actually, there was like an update that added some research to it. Okay, what is this? Okay, this is uh, kind of gross in my opinion. So I have to hand feed this wood and then that makes process fuel and then we use the process fuel. I mean, I guess it, make, it makes, it's the same as, uh, and we just feed it coal just like we would a normal steam setup, yeah. Okay, I have plenty of coal, so we can actually try and use these to start making electricity. Still, I'm not making. Why am I not making these? Oh shoot! Yeah. Okay. And I'm setting up over here so that I can easily, um, burn a turbine can run off coal directly though. Oh, well, I mean, why would I not do the fuel? Um, like, like it says here, uh, gains 10% energy value and has good vehicle acceleration. I mean, there's no reason that I wouldn't, um, do it then I think. So burner turbine, make some of these. And the reason I'm doing it over here is that eventually we'll just replace it with steam and it'll be right here by the water and you know, won't have to refactor anything, which will be nice. Or at least not too much. Okay, so we'll do this. And then I don't know if it's one to one, but we'll assume that it's not. Then we can 
Actually, we'll throw these down here. And then that will eventually become electric mining. What else do you use uh, fuel for? What does this go into? Does it like go into at, like all of the fuels, like rocket fuel and stuff? Hmm, no. Oh, burn stuff, okay. making electricity now and we're still freaking going super slowly on this I probably can make one more of these Trains, cars, tanks, furnaces. Okay, I mean, that's fair. Um, I was just saying that right now I'm doing this to um, make electricity. And when I eventually am going to use... Well, that's kind of interesting, okay. So eventually when I want to refactor to use steam, I'll just, I'll have it, everything, like my coal and all that right over there right now or right then when I want to refactor it, and uh, so it'll be super quick and easy. Okay. And probably out of more wood here. Alright. Freaking a little bit slow here to try and get some automation going, but we've got our electric mining coming up, which will help uh, with that for sure. Oh, you at the coal patch? Yeah, it's possible. It's interesting that it takes, you know, like solid fuel and stuff like that, um, and not just coal. So, I mean, it takes a lot of different things, which is pretty cool. Okay. And we'll make a couple of these. Whoops. Have, like I should I really should just be handcrafting all the time especially with all the intermediates because this is <laughs> takes forever okay. Tiny little smelting, which we'll use just one coal and copper for now. S similar for gear and one for motors. Okay. Seems fair. Intermediates out of the way there. So that we can maybe craft a little bit faster and throw this. I say that and then I go. I say that and then I go and craft a bunch of stuff by hand, anyways. 
Okay. Okay. There we go. We got some cylinders. And I don't... finish this electric mining before I set up my miners for the smelting columns. Okay. Alright, there we go. And then over here is where we're going to set up Our first bit of, I guess I'll just do it down here. I don't know. Our first bit of automation. So we want to automate things like inserters and stuff. God, this is, <laughs> all right. So let's see. So this is gears and plates. We're definitely, yeah, you're right. We're definitely going to end up doing inserted parts. That is super slow. Iron sticks and iron. Jeez Louise. Jeez Louise. I forget how many intermediates there are. Like, in the late game, I'm so lazy, and I just like, you know, throw down a, a, an assembling machine, and then give it a requester and a provider, and <laughs> that's all I do, um, which is super lazy. Um, so I forget how many <laughs> intermediates there are, because I just don't have to worry about it. I have wood here again now. And yeah, yeah, I'm definitely going to automate the intermediates first. Um, I mean, definitely not going to hand feed those. I'm going to have to get really far now before I unlock... Yeah, <laughs> no, I know, I know. It, it's good for me to do the early game again every once in a while. Like, when you get into the end game, you don't appreciate the uh, automation of it as much. Like, just because everything is so easy at that point, you know, you have blueprints and you have um, robots that just build everything for you. So, you know, you don't have to appreciate doing all of the little bits that you appreciate now uh, for that reason. Okay. How are we doing here? I'm thinking we can do this and try and finish a little bit faster. You don't use logistic bots at all, really. It's uh, a little bit surprising, why is that? Okay. I make the game too easy. Yeah, I can understand that. So what do you do, just like uh, speed runs or do you, you know, what do you like about the game? Okay, there's our electric mining drills, frickin' finally. Big conversion mods like angels and pyanodons. My hat goes off to you, sir. That is uh, that is uh, some serious dedication. Um, I have never tried. I've never even tried um, pyanodon, and um, 
I started C-Block, actually, way back in the day. Uh, like before 1.0 uh, was released. But I haven't tried it since. And I didn't even get that far, right? I, uh... I don't remember how far I got, but it was like green signs, I think, and I was like running into the issue of um, like my electricity loop, if that makes sense. Like, you know, using too much, I was using too much electricity for what I was trying to do, and so everything was just so slow, and I was like, I'm done. Yeah, no, I know. Yeah. Green science and well, I I was I did watch some pyanodons and like doing uh, just red science took like four episodes because there was just so many intermediates and you had to do like creating the glass for the um, like the test tubes or whatever you want to call them and then uh, creating like the stop the rubber stoppers for them and like all this stuff and I was like you know what that's cool I applaud people who do that, but I, that is not for me. <laughs> but I'm glad that you like it, man. That's pretty awesome. Um, those, uh, I think they are really awesome mods and, um, I just don't have the time to play them. I know that like space exploration is a long mod. Um, but those are like even insanely long, like, they're insanely more complicated than space exploration. And space exploration is complicated for me. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah. You know, it's funny. Like, when you start doing uh, some of these, like, overhaul mods, like, um, it, uh, it makes it seem like launching a rocket in vanilla is, like, the easiest thing ever. You're like, how did I ever think that this was hard? So we're doing a little bit better on like our intermediates here. Like you can see, we're not crafting a poop ton of intermediates for these belts, but um, so we're getting there. This is going to be some iron, and I think I'm going to like dig all this stuff up now. We'll wait for this to finish. Yeah. Have you been playing Factorio like since the beginning basically? Yeah, yeah. No, I, I get you on that. Oh, you started before it came on to Steam. Dang, dude. Okay, that's that's dedication. I um I started playing Factorio, and I'm sure you'll remember this. Back when um it was like inserters that they used in all the different sciences, and I remember my first base, and it <laughs> it's funny to think about now. My first base was literally. Um, just one belt of iron in the middle and like one belt of copper and somehow that was that was like enough to uh, uh, that was like enough iron and copper to make it like to the end game. I don't know how but it was. Okay, so we've got some basic electricity now. Finally, and we can also automate this now. So we don't have to keep refilling these. <laughs> I'm glad you remember that. Yeah, that was that was pretty funny. Uh, looking back at it now, I was like, dang, those sciences were so cheap. Like, resource-wise, it was like nothing. Do you remember when trains were first introduced? Okay, I don't remember that. I, I remember when trains used to look super crappy. Like, they were 2D. 
and um, like the rails, instead of looking like 3D, um, they were like just flat on the screen. I, I remember that, but uh, that's really funny. Yeah, I'm sure it changed everything. <laughs> okay, we just gotta craft a bunch of these. All right, so, I mean, these aren't super fast, but it doesn't look like we're gonna be using electricity too quickly so far. Um, so I think just four here and then four here, and then we'll get like two copper or something like that. Um, oh, and I also have to split this. This will be copper, and then we'll, since this is going to be like the bottom down here, we'll bring, um, did I not leave enough room here? No, I did. I hope. Yeah, I did. We'll bring the coal in here. The smelters and not the, yeah. Oh, a fuel belt. That's true. That's true. I didn't even think of that. That's a good point. Okay, maybe I should... Yeah, because you get a 10% ener energy boost, huh? Okay, maybe you were right in saying that I should do the fuel down here. And just do a belt of... Okay, okay, I stand corrected. I should do the fuel down here. And then send a, be a belt of fuel up to the... To over here. And actually... That even makes sense, uh, that makes a lot more sense too, because uh, we probably can, and correct me if I'm wrong, but we probably can make fuel, up, uh, or we can probably use fuel when we uh, eventually switch to um, to steam over here, we can use fuel to power the boilers, I would guess. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I I see the logic in your uh, initial suggestion that I so quickly ignored. Oh jeez. Uh. Oh wait. I can do it this way. Should these make two megawatts all right so that's kind of cool uh it just seems like we're gonna need a lot of fuel all right and we'll run this down red inserts are faster until you get the blue CPUs. Yeah, I think I probably will. Oh, I, I forgot. I have dumb. I forgot that I have these. Rotation speed. I mean, even these are faster. I don't know why I'm using. Holy lord. <laughs> okay. All right, I need to get those automated. Holy moly. All right. by so many different things. Okay. I guess let's go throw these in over here. We have we now have way too many red tech cards and like no basic tech cards. This freaking wood is getting further and further away. Yeah, no I know. The intermediates are <laughs> 
they're really like the bane of your existence in the early game. So do you do, uh, I'm curious, if you do like um, Pyanodons, do you do um, like city grids? Because that is something that I have never done, but I really want to do in this playthrough. And um, I want to do it both for Novice here, and I also want to do it in um, like Novice Orbit for like my two main uh, bases. Okay, so I think we're gonna try and make these. I gotta make burner inserters, stupid. Yeah, I've never actually, uh, I've tried to understand LTN, and you know, I, I actually kind of would think that, um, like, I know how, I know what LTN work, if you do make a grid, only use T intersections, because four-way, yeah, that, that is definitely true. Um, I know what LTN, is, like, does, like, I understand the concept behind it, but I, uh, have never actually used it, but my, I, what I was curious about was, um, did the update at 1.0 where, you know, rails, uh, rail stations, um, okay, we're running out of coal over here. Did, uh, the change at 1.0 where you can specify the amount of trains that are going to a specific rail station, did that, um, I don't want to say render completely obsolete. Um, but did that, like, kind of make, uh, LTN less useful? I'm just curious. There's three things you can attach wires to on the train stop. You're saying just for LTN? Or for, like, vin regular vanilla as well? Because I'm pretty sure there's couple things that you can attach to just in vanilla too. Yeah. Okay. Many to many. You can't have many to many between pickups and drop-offs. I don't... I don't think that's true. Because you can name rail stations uh, the same thing, and based off of how many trains are going to those, you should be able to uh, do many to many. But I could be wrong. I could be wrong. <clears throat> okay, here comes our fuel finally. So we'll get this going, and then <laughs> maybe eventually we'll. We'll get something automated that's not handcrafting. And I'm just gonna do this now, I don't really care. Okay. More tech cards. If you expect multiple train types to visit your station, you run into trouble. Ah, okay. In that sense, yes, I see what you mean. If you're doing a many to many, and you're expecting like plastic to come and another kind of train to come, that wouldn't work. Is that what you're saying? Because I think that makes sense. Do these not like fuel? I mean, it doesn't matter. Okay, yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Okay. Um, yeah, I could see, I guess, I can see that. Okay. 
So we're finally getting something done. And we'll at least have a little bit of plate down here. And with that, we can, all right. So we're making cylinder, single cylinder engines and single cylinder engines go with inserter parts and inserter parts are sticks and gears. So we'll make more gears and sticks. I think we'll do this. Probably. Okay. So this will be for our burner inserters. And if my build is messy, it's okay. Okay, so this is gonna be burner inserters. This is gonna be inserted parts. Uh, let's see, what'd you say? Uh, probably right now burners can't keep up with smelting though. Might as well make a separate line for each type. Put them. Might as well make a separate line for each type. Oh, you mean like one for gears, one for sticks? Yeah, I suppose we can do that. Like do, we can do this. How about, we'll do this and I will just deconstruct everything I just did, which is fine. Okay, stop it, stop it. <laughs> okay. Okay, so we'll do this, we'll do gears, we'll do sticks. And, oh my gosh, we, we're like two, two tech cards away from automation, which would be really nice. I keep going with burner assemblers. That's true. All right, so down here for our assemblers. Okay, so we can do it this way actually. We'll do sticks and gears. We'll throw them on the same belt. Okay, so we got sticks and gears. And then with that, um, you know what we'll do? We'll do this. We'll throw these like kind of on a main little area here. And then here, we'll do this. And we'll make inserter parts and we'll feed that to this, which is gonna make our burner inserters. Just kidding. Actually, yeah, we'll, we'll do that. And then from here, we'll, we'll make um, these, right? This will make burner inserters. 
I'm great at remembering where everything is in all the menus. Okay. And then, um, <clears throat> okay. Do, do, do. And we'll need one long handled inserter to grab our iron plates for this. And then we have burner inserters. And we'll, I guess we'll do um, a little box for that. That way we can upgrade this stuff later. Okay, but then we need to make automation cores and electric motors, which require copper. Uh, yeah, I'll end up putting them on a, on a belt, but I'm just, I can insert them directly there. Finally, we're gonna finish automation. Um, not that it matters at this point. And... and I guess next, I mean, we haven't seen any biters yet. I've made the starting area like as big as possible, but we might as well do some military because you never know when you're gonna need it and you'd rather not need it but have it, then need it and not have it. Okay. And then this is gonna be copper over here. You know, one of the things I love that uh, space exploration changes, well, two things actually. One of them is uh, how how long, maybe it's Crystorio actually, that changes how long the uh, undergrounds get, because that is just awesome. Um, that's one of the things I love. Like, it's like the blue ones are like 30 long or something like that. Um, but the other thing that I really love and um, I love this design a lot more than the base game is uh okay yeah it's Crestoria that's what I thought because I have played Crestoria by itself as well um but something that I absolutely love that uh space exploration does is the is how the um is how the beacons work where you put one beacon and you surround it with a bunch of buildings versus the base game where you make a ton of beacons and surround them or surround buildings with them i like the reversal in that um it just i think it makes things way nicer to do builds and things like that okay so we got electronics that we can do next uh we can also get gun turrets which i think is probably good to do real fast um okay there we go we got a little bit of copper not much um, but some. Okay, so we'll at least start getting some copper down here and, oh shoot, we're out of this still missing yeah i know i am it's only because this is going really slowly and i just want to get at least some stuff done okay so i guess we get i don't know maybe maybe we'll just grab um electricity next what do we can make electric labs with that yeah i oh, will do that 
Oh, Crusher. Yeah, yeah. You're right. You're right. We'll do the Crusher next. Okay. So, let's see. From here, regulars take the automation core and a burner inserter and an electric motor. Ugh. All right. I think we'll just throw the copper down this line here. And we'll probably make like a lane of uh, automation cores. And we can probably honestly do this and join it with um, those because this takes copper. Oh, dang it. Okay, never mind. We'll do this. B line for greenhouse. Yeah, yep. That way we can automate our science totally, um, which will be good. Okay, we'll do this. And we'll throw some coal in there. Okay. And then we need copper, which is going to come down over here. Because I'm lazy. And we'll figure out how to grab it. Okay, why is this. Oh, freaking forgot to set the recipes on these. Forgot that you had to do that. If I'm being entirely honest. You do at least four assemblers making every part. <laughs> you know, I should. I should. <laughs> and now you're making me hate my build. <laughs> Uh, my hope is just to get a little bit set up. Um, let's see. You know, you do have good suggestions, so I will say that. <laughs> you're telling me all the things I should do, which you're not wrong about. Okay. I only have two of these, so... Okay. Yeah, what I should do... Yeah, I think I'm gonna start the real build to the left of this. My hope was just to get a little bit started, honestly, um, to where I didn't have to make everything by hand and I could just come and grab some stuff. Um, that was my hope for today. I have to start work here in a few minutes, so um, probably should uh, Probably should, honestly, I probably should just call it here. But um, thanks for uh, coming and uh, watching and talking. and I, I had a great time um, just setting some stuff up here. And you had some great suggestions too. So thanks for all your suggestions in the chat. Um, hopefully next time we can start, we can actually like get uh, science working without us like having to manually feed everything which would be nice because we're out of resources over here once again and uh, so anyways i'm gonna call it there thank you guys for coming i uh, hope you guys have a great day today and uh cheers have a good one